Okay, if you're one of those people who is lacking shoulder blade stability when you're doing rotator cuff external rotation, then this one's for you. Now, what I mean by stability is if you find that when you externally rotate, say you've been given external rotation like this, but you can't keep your shoulder from moving. So when you pull your hand outwards, you find that your shoulder naturally goes backwards. I'll show you on my right shoulder. So if I was going external rotation like that, and if your shoulder blade does this, where your shoulder blade goes into sort of retraction and adduction to, towards the midline, when you go outwards and you can't keep it stable like that, then you need to work on your serratus anterior. And I'll show you what I mean. Say this is your shoulder blade, okay? So when your shoulder blade is like that, if you can't, or you find that when you externally rotate here, your shoulder blade comes in all the time, okay? What's most likely happening is it's not just coming back this way, all right? Which is probably a lack of serratus anterior strength here. It's also doing a little bit of this tilt and a wing, okay? And many people, when they see their shoulder blades, they're sitting on an angle like that when they do that sort of exercise. So what you need to work on is your serratus anterior because pulling it backwards is not gonna help it. That's what's happening when you externally rotate. It's going backwards and on an angle. So you need to work on it coming forwards. Best thing for you to do is start with a wall. So this is a way you can get your serratus anterior firing and get your shoulder blade into protraction without too much load. Pretty easy stuff. So you go to a wall, two hands on to start with. Now, if you're really new to this, start with two hands. You're gonna aim for putting a little bit of load through the wall, just a little bit, not too much. And then once you've got that position, try and work out how you're gonna let your body go towards the wall and let your shoulder blades go back. So the sort of movement that you do wrong when you externally rotate, all right? Then what you're gonna try and do is push away without rounding your back. So you let your body go away from the wall by pushing your hands forward into the wall. This will bring your shoulder blade forward and around. So if you imagine my serratus anterior here is pulling my shoulder blade forward. When I press away, it's pulling it forward. And we start with a closed chain exercise like that. Rather than pushing something out of mid-air, we start with a closed chain. So we're still doing the same movement. We are pushing, right? But our, it's a closed chain movement. So our body is moving away from the glass, okay? It'll still activate your serratus anterior and pull that around and forward. That's gonna start firing it up. Now, if you can get two hands going, that's where I would start. If you find that's going all right, the best thing you can do to advance that is to go to one hand because you'll get more stability work done if you take one hand away. And then from there, same drill, slowly towards the wall. So let it go back into retraction, which is the eccentric phase of that serratus. So this is going backwards, it's lengthening out there. And then you push away from the wall. So your shoulder blade's going forward, your body's going away. That means the serratus is pulling this forward like that. I'm not using my pecs to do it. I use my pecs when I do a chest press, when I move my arm, bend my elbow. So if I keep my elbow straight, I won't use this. All right? I'm going to just use serratus anterior to pull that shoulder blade forward which when you see that, when my arm is fixed, it pushes my body away. Best one to start with for those beginners who are just, there's just no stability there when they do their rotator cuff work. And if you see that quite a lot, you really need to start working on this stuff. Otherwise you'll find there's no massive benefit of you doing the rotator cuff. Yes, you'll get some rotator cuff strength, but you won't learn massive function from, or gains from that by having your shot made all over the shop. So work on that one first. Now, how do you advance that? If you've got the movement going and you want some more strength, add a little bit of load. 
maybe a band like this goes around your back and into that same hand. So just wrap it around your hand like that. Now you've got some resistance, okay? So when I put my hand on the wall, now when I come in, I've got, when I press away, I have to stretch the band at the same time. That's gonna put a little bit of load on my serratus anterior here to pull my shoulder blade forward. At the same time, if I go slowly, there's an eccentric load there as well, and then a concentric load pushing away, okay? So always start with the wall first. Work on, get your two arms one right, then you go to your single arm, then maybe put a band on for a little bit of load. Eventually, because you want to start doing things like push-ups for getting some more strength, you want to go to the floor. So same sort of rules apply. Make sure when you go to the floor that you can get the two arm ones right first. And the trick is making sure you also don't round your back. So from this position here, what I don't want to be doing is when I drop down is to hollow my back out. And I also don't want to, when I push away, I don't want to round like that. So I'm keeping my spine straight. I'm just going through retraction, protraction. And once you've got that, okay, I've got the idea, then just take one arm away. So same I'm doing my right arm, and that's retraction, and then press through the ground, protraction, without rotation, and without rounding, okay? Simple, retract, protract. Now you're gonna find that's instantly hard on the wall because there's gravity there, okay? So you've already got load when you do it here. That's why I suggest you start with the wall first, then you work on the four point, take one hand away. You can always add on a band to help you increase some load. So if you find I'm better at the floor, I can do that. I've got more control. Okay, add some load on, same sort of drill. Doesn't have to be too much. Go into your attraction and then push away, stretch the band into protraction, okay? Really important stuff try and focus on your closed chain stuff first. People say, okay, what do I do after that? Well, hopefully, at that point there, you've got a little bit more stability here, so when you externally take, you've got a bit more control, and you put your hand behind your back, you can feel that that shoulder blade's not coming in as much when you externally rotate. But, for, of course, we want to do presses and things like that, so we need to also work on some open chain work. Now, there's various ways of doing that. You can do that actually in supine, so you can work on stuff like having a band like this and going okay i'm going to do the same movement of protractions to say it's my left arm so imagine I've, if i was facing a wall it's exactly the same movement pattern it's just now it's open chain i'm still using the same muscle i'm just now going for a different origin insertion direction okay so it's important to actually progress from doing a closed chain to an open chain movement. Now that's one way of doing it, doing it in supine. The other way is simply just doing it in standing. Now, that's where you maybe attach it to something else, like that, and have it so you're pushing out, okay? So from this, I'll show you on this side, this point here. If I'm now going from this position here, you'll find you have to stabilize a little bit more on this, which is good, but you go into retraction here Careful not to bend your elbow, so you've got to keep make sure that tricep stays on, and then push into protraction that way. Okay, back into retraction, and this is going to really get you those sort of gains that you need in learning how to fire up that serratus to push into protraction, because that's what you're going to need when you externally rotate. You want to stop it going into retraction, because that's what you've been doing, all right? And the more tone you get, you'll also find that it stops going, it stops going into retraction so much, but also stops tilting so much. And that maybe take care of some of the winging that might be going on in your shoulder blade. So if you've got those sort of symptoms and you're sort of new to this serratus work, start on those steps first, from the wall to the floor, closed chain and then open chain. See if that helps with your external rotation. See you next time.